Hello everyone, welcome back and today I'm going to show you how to use Optivine with Forage. So if you're looking to do this, it's actually very easy to do. We're also going to be doing it from the newest version of Minecraft at the moment, which is 1.21.1. .1. But this will also work with other versions of Minecraft as well. So let's actually get straight into the video. So the first thing we're going to want to do is come to this website just here. This is the Forage website. I will leave a link in the description down below, so it makes it easier for you to get to here. So what we're going to want to do is actually download a version we want to play Minecraft on. So for me, I'm going to be doing it for the newest version of Minecraft, which is 1.21.1. .1. And to find it, what we're going to want to do is click on the little plus button just up here. Click on that. As you can see just here, we have got the newest version for Minecraft. Click on that. This page will load. And from here, we can actually just click on the installer just here. So just click on this just here. And this will download our forage for us after about five seconds. So just wait up here and you can see these seconds are going down. And just click on skip just here. Make sure you just click on skip. Do not click anything else in here. Just click on skip. And in here we will start downloading straight away. So next we're going to want Optivine. So I will leave a link in the description down below to this website as well. So from here what we're going to want to do is click on the preview versions. And download the latest one. So this one here is the latest one just now. And remember this is for the Minecraft version 1.21.1. .1. So you do want to make sure that you do the same version as your forage. As it won't work. So from here click on download or mirror. I'm going to click on the mirror button. Then from here click on download just here. Click on that. And that will start downloading as well for us. While that is downloading, if you want to get yourself a Minecraft server to play with your friends, be sure to check out Apex Hosting. They have some really good high quality servers. You can play default Minecraft or you can play with mod packs or even plugins. They also do come with a DDoS protection so you always are safe playing on your Minecraft server. So be sure to check them out with the link in the description down below. So now we actually want to go to our desktop. So from here, go to your downloads folder. So my downloads folder is just here. Simply from here, just drag out the two files you've just downloaded, just like that, onto your desktop. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually find the forage just here. So this is the forage just here, and this one here is the one we're going to want to load up first. So what you're going to want to do is actually right click on this file, click on open with, then click on Java. Now if you don't have Java, I will leave a link on the screen right now and also in the description down below on how to get Java. It is very easy to do, and you do need it to make these work. So be sure to check out that video if you have not got Java. But if you have got Java, just click on this one just here. This will load a little file up just like this one. From here, what we're going to want to do is click on just OK just here. Click on that. And now this will install. Now, this shouldn't take too long, depending on the computer specs. But yeah, it shouldn't take too long at all. So as you can see, mine has now installed. That took about 30 seconds or so. Click on OK. Now that will go away. You can get rid of this file here. You don't need this one no more. So get rid of that one. And now from this one here, what we're going to want to do is load up our Minecraft launcher. Now, once you've loaded up your Minecraft launcher, automatically, you should see Forage down here. Now, if you don't see Forage down here, don't worry. What we're going to want to do is come up to Installations up here. And in here, we want to make sure we've got Modded selected, just like that. So make sure Modded is selected, and it should come up in here. Now, don't worry, you won't have these other ones. This is just because I've done some other stuff on my Minecraft. You should have this one just here. But if you still do not have this one here, what you're going to want to do is go on New Installation. And in here, in the versions, you're going to want to find your forage. So simply you can search for it if you want to. So here it is just here. Click on that. So it's in this little versions box here. You can give it a name if you want to. Also, you can give it a logo. And down here, you can click on create. Now, only do this if you do not have it in here. So if you've got it in here, you don't need to do that. Now, what we're going to want to do is actually install our Optivine. So simply to install that, come over to this little icon just here. Click on that. And this will load up our .minecraft just here. And in here, what we're going to want to do is actually find our mods folder just here. Now, if you don't have a mods folder, don't worry. What you can do is you can actually create one. What you're going to want to do is come off to the side here. Right click, click on new. And then from here, click on folder. And then simply just call this mods like that. Now click on enter. And that's how you got yourself a mods folder. So you can do it that way if you want to. But if you've already got a mods folder, you don't need to do this. Um, I'm just showing you how to make one if you don't have one. So simply for me, I'm going to scroll back up. And right here, we've got the mods folder. Double click in here. Now inside of this mods folder, what we're going to want to do is actually drag in our Optivine into there like that. Click on the little X button just there. Come back over to our Minecraft launcher. Come back over to play. Then click on play just here. Now you might get a warning like this on the screen. Just click on I understand and click on play. So I'm now in my Minecraft world and simply from here to find out if we've got Optivine installed. Click on the escape key. Come over to options, video settings and down here you can see we've got shaders. Now if you've got shaders here, that means Optivine is working. And that is great. So now we can use shaders with our forage. So you can play mods with shaders if you want to do it like that. So that's how you install forage with Optivine. If this video was helpful, be sure to leave a like on it. Also hit that subscribe button as well. But that is it for this video and I'll see you all in my next one.